Brian Clemens had an interesting idea that a present day mortal uh, psychopath would be killing women in the same way that 70 years ago an immortal psychopath had killed them. He was copycatting them, not knowing anything about the immortality, but McLeod, of course, did know about it. So in order to kind of get a sense of, of what, uh, of the, the time difference and to set this thing that back into the 20s, we decided we'd try and make it look a little bit like uh, a silent movie. And we had, we were shot at the Orpheum Theater, which is a wonderful, great old theater here that's, that has been used, we've used any number of times for any number of things. And in order to make it seem a little more authentically of that period, we changed the color timing so that even though we shot it in color, we made it uh, on the screen in black and white. And this was something that we like to do is to give the flashbacks a slightly different visual look, although black and white is a little more than slight. We try to get a, a little different visual look so you'd get a sense of the, both the period and to separate it from the story in the present. And because this was a real theater and a real old theater, doing uh, the quickening in there was a little hairy because any kind of pyrotechnics were the kind that we use outside are dangerous, they're, they're flammable, they're, they're fireworks. And we had to use a whole new system of, of pyro to accomplish this safely inside. And believe, you know, everybody was kind of happy when we walked out of the theater without burning it down. And because McLeod was not, because this guy in the present was not an immortal, uh, you know, McLeod's, McLeod's sense of justice was certainly uh, outraged, but somehow it took Tessa to step out of her characteristic role and be the one who dropped the axe on the guy. And this was, as you can imagine in television, this was kind of an unusual idea, and the it was a subject of a lot of meetings with, uh, with David Abramowitz and myself, and occasionally people from the various networks, domestic and foreign, who were involved. But at the end, we did it, and we're, we're glad we did.